Hi YouTube, and welcome to a video by the Unlucky Lads. This will detail the raid intel skips on both critical and regular for the raid starting on the 12th of October, running through to the 18th of October, which is Project Titan Week 99. Please remember to like and subscribe because your support motivates us to make these early raid intel videos, which allows you to quickly complete the raid as soon as it's released. Starting with critical, the modifiers this week will be Darkest Night, Realistic Reload, and limited health regen, which means you need to start by defending the smoky node at Heliport. This will give you access to Bow at the chemical refinery, and after beating him, you can move into Sector 2. Gargoyle will require you to press four nodes simultaneously at Salamander, which will open up the arena at Testing Zone. Then Supercomputer needs two intels from Forgotten Sanctuary before you can interrogate the guy wearing knee pads at Missile Site Ruins, and then input the password he gives you into the basement node at Missile Site Ruins. Doing all of that will allow you to access the Titan boss battle at the building in the sea. After beating both Gargoyle and Quantum, you can advance into Sector 3. For Cerberus, you'll need two intels from Scandium Mine, and then you'll need to defend the node at Red Phoenix, before heading to No Man's Land to destroy the three panels there. Doing all of that will give you access to the final boss battle at the top of Lava Shield, where you can complete the critical raid. In summary, the modifiers are fairly lousy this week, with a combination that is bound to frustrate most players, mainly because Darkest Night is on. Then, to make matters worse, the intel trail is pretty long as well, especially when compared to last week's raid, so hopefully you have a good team that can split up and finish it a bit quicker. But as always, if you have any problems, please comment below and we'll try to help out so you can finish the raid and earn those rewards. Moving on to regular, there are no modifiers, and it does just use last week's critical intel. For Bow, you'll need to destroy four panels Ancient Harbour. This will open up the circle at Chemical Refinery, and beating him will allow you to advance into Sector 2. Gargo hasn't got any intel this week, meaning you can go straight to Testing Zone to defeat this free Titan. And Supercomputer requires the Hack and Defender the node at Camp Phoenix, which will give you access to Quantum at the building in the sea. Once Gargoyle and Supercomputer have been destroyed, you can advance into Sector 3. Cerberus just requires you to press four nodes at Lava Duct, but to do this, you'll need a truck to jump the gate on the western side or parachute in from the cliffs on the east. Once you get up to Lava Duct and press the four nodes, you'll have access to Cerberus at the top of Lava Shield, where you can complete the regular raid. That's all for now. I hope you've enjoyed this video enough to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Just click the logo in the video or down below, because your support really does motivate us to make more content. But until next time, peace out the unlucky lads.